In this video, we'll be going through some of the most annoying problems in Revit or some problems that you are actually facing with and you cannot really resolve. If such videos are bringing you a lot of value, please don't forget to subscribe and turn your notification on in our channel so you don't miss any of the great value content. Tip number one is to finding the levels that you lost in the project. I know it sounds a bit strange, but you cannot imagine how many times I received this question. How can I find my levels? I cannot see them in the section. I cre I'm creating an elevation, but I cannot see them. Even though I click on the reveal hidden elements, it's clearly not there. I check visibility and graphics, but they are not there. So if I, the levels are on, but I cannot see them. I go back to the section, I go visibility and graphics, and I can clearly see them, see that they are actually here. So how come I cannot see them? The answer to this question is that your level should penetrate your views. If I go to the 3D view and reveal hidden elements, you will see that your levels are actually here. The reason you cannot see them is simply because they are not penetrating your views. If you select one of the levels and you drag the level to penetrate your view, you will be seeing it in both section and in your elevation. So you need to make sure that your level and your view range is actual on a section or an elevation are actually penetrating each other because they are data element. Um, and this applies to the grids and levels and any other type of views. Tip number two would be how to actually play the view range so you can get most out of it. Right now, you can see that I will be hiding this back wall here. Um, you can see that I have one, two, three windows. But on, if I go to plan view, I can only see two of them. The reason for that is because actually I can pull back the other level. So you can clearly see that level zero is um, located here at zero and level one is at four meters height. So if I pull a dimension, I would see that the location of my, my window is 2.5 meters. Uh, and if I go into my view range setting in, in my floor plan, you can clearly see that my view range is actually cutting 1.5 meter. This means that you are simply saying, you are simply saying the items that are just between 1.5 meter all the way down. However, in Revit, can actually make that your window is visible on floor plan, even though it's at a higher cut, even without changing your view range. What you need to do is to go to view, to go to plan views, and you need to go into plan region. And you simply draw here a region, and then say that the view range of this region is 2.6 meters and 2.6 meters. So 2.6, I have right. And then you will be able to see your window cut. There's a good and bad thing over here. So it's easy to hide the, uh, the plan region. But if you, if you it's simply just go to visibility and graphics and you come to the plan region and you can hide it. But the problem over here is that when, the, when you give a such a drawing to the contractor, they can mess up because they will think that the, the, uh, the window is somewhere uh, where the, your plane, um, your like uh, your floor plan cut is, but in actual fact it is not. So most of the time, as an architect or engineer, we prefer, or even a designer, we prefer not to show it as a cut because it's a, at a higher level. Uh, we would like to show it as a dashed line, some kind of hatching on top, so we can actually understand there is something there. You should not miss it. And this is, if I undo a couple of steps, and I will undo the plan region, I could actually delete it as well. What you can do is you can simply go to your view range and you can change the view range from level zero to level one. This means that you will be covering everything between level zero and level one, but you are cutting from here and looking downwards. So you are not cutting through the window. If I zoom in, you will simply see that there's a uh, there's some kind of hatch on the uh, opening of the window. 
it's a great tool because you can actually show it in your drawings easily and don't have to you, you will you will make sure that you're not going to miss any of the openings and the flower plants and the third tip would be how to play with your wall joints so most of the time we will have a complete we might have a complicated um, wall structures like this where i have you know like my foundation goes up and I do have a, some kind of um, drywall or external wall on top and my internal wall will be connected. So if I simply connect these um, on 3D, it might look okay. If I look both from the external side or internal side, it, they might look okay. But when I come to my plan view, you can simply see that actually my finishes are intersecting each other. There is a simple solution to that and you will be amazed how quick you can fix this kind of thing. You can go to wall joints going by modify tab, geometry section and um, modify tab, geometry panel and wall joint tool. You can just select your wall joint. It will highlight that you actually might have more than 50 possible configuration here and just simply hit next until you figure out the one that you're looking for. It might take a couple of seconds, obviously, depending on the, the number of configurations right now i'm just hitting uh, and right now i found the right join but in the external view i can see that it's not what i'm looking for so i will keep hitting until i find the one that it aligns still this is not what i'm looking for aligns with the internal part yeah but my okay that's what it is so my external part is smoothly aligning my internal part is smoothly aligning. So I can end my tool and you can easily see that it is actually perfectly working where, I'm, where I need it. If you would like to learn great tips for floors in Revit, click on this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel because every week we are going to publish a Revit tutorial for you. Don't forget to turn your notification bell on. See you next time.